Welcome to Pedro Avi, and this month we're down at Lake Bulumeri near Camperdown, one of the most famous fishing lakes in Victoria. It's got an incredible um, ecosystem here. It's full of little galaxids and flathead gudgeons, and the trout feast on these little critters to go to enormous sizes. Uh, it's dawn at the moment. It's freezing cold. Uh, it's raining. Uh, but it doesn't matter because we're down here at the Camperdown Angling Club, which is the sister club to the Preston Northcote Club, of which I am, of course, uh, a member. And other than looking like a brick dunny block, it's got some magnificent trophy trout hanging on the walls to inspire us all to fish hard. So we brought the boat down and uh, we've stuck some downriggers on it yesterday so we could uh, get a bit more of a trolling set up. But. Uh, you know, being dawn, wet, cold, winter, I actually just want to go straight back to bed. I don't even want to go out there. But let's talk to a few of the blokes and see what they've got to say about the best techniques for this lake. I would fish off the bank using power bait and a worm on the bottom and power bait floating and stick at it. Depends on the day. I'm trawling all the time. You're a trawler? Trawling. Not bait fishing? Uh, not many, many times. And what's your trawling tactic? Tactic is... No, no, no tactic, it's just, just find, to need to find the colour and depth, and that's it. Mud eyes and, um, and minnows. Have you come with some mud eyes? Pardon? You've come with mud eyes? Yes. Really? Definitely, yes. yes. Mud eyes. Fishing from the bank and I'll probably use worms and mud eyes. Change change laws until we find out what colour is working. So rotate through the colours. Rotate right through the colours. We'll have our spe We'll actually probably start off tomorrow with one called You Can Be the Special because that was working last week. Orange? No, that was last trip. <laughs> okay. Last week and here was You Can Be the Special. Hold on. We're trawling at about 100 metres from the lake's edge in about 20 metres of water and the lake's bottom is undulating quite a lot and there's something here that looks like a fish but it's really hard to tell. Um, I've adjusted the sensitivity on the fish finder as best I can and every now and again uh, something that looks like a long branch or something comes through, I really don't know what it is but there's something down there. Uh, it's been a big day out on the water. We've done very badly. Thank God for vodka, cranberry juice and soda. But let's see what other people who know more about fishing than us have caught. And uh, I wish they'd pass on their knowledge. I feel like I'm being excluded from this club. It's like some secret society of fish catching. It's a secret knowledge. It's not passed on at all. We told you. It's all the colour. Colour gold. Let's see what these bastards have caught. Here's David Cast Fish. Dave, where'd you get these fish, mate? In the lake, mate. Hold it on. I know you got them in a the bloody lake, but yeah, where? Because we'll what, 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 what I think is interesting about these fish is they were caught off the bank in front of the lodge, pretty much, whilst everyone's trolling on $25,000 boats, like you pick up bloody good fish. Liz's fish. Liz, where did you catch these? How did you catch them? <laughs> <laughs> I caught them in the water at Bournemouth. Yeah, I know that. And I caught them with, with, with um, muscles. muscles. Look at them. Yeah. Two rainbow nice. trout. Yeah, nice size. One point five seven five. Well, now here's Swampy's fish, and he's a club legend. Let's have a look at these fish. Oh, wow. wow, they are big fish. Here is my hand to prove it. Swampy, that's from last time. Whoa! Swampy, what uh, did you get those fish on? Viagra. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep coming up. <laughs> Uh, would you have, would you take uh, gutchin over scrub worm any day? Yes. Uh, three brown trout. Three point three four zero 
zero. We're going swappy! Let me go once. I'll just check. Some fantastic fish weighed in today. As made a referee, I'm pretty sure there was only one fish out of the whatever number, 15 fish weighed in. 15. Only one fish for under a kilo. Not the best. Not bad for fresh water. If you can do that every time, you'll love it, wouldn't you, right? It had about a rep set up from the camper down club here. There's still a lot of commotion. The boys are fired up with these excellent fish being waiting in utterly atrocious conditions. Conditions that saw me bed laid. Bed laid. So see you on the next trip at Pedro Army Dock.